Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are, uh, last time I talked to you guys, we, we talked about solving matrix equations, and uh, that was a big step for us. We are going to continue down that path. There's one kind of matrix equation that uh, we haven't solved yet, and we're going to get there. It's going to take a couple days to build to that point, and I'm going to show you why in a second. So, um, yeah. Uh, I haven't uh, checked in with most of you guys, so um, if you guys want to and you want to say hi or, or ask for help, make sure you take advantage of the Google Hangouts. And uh, yeah, things are things are going well around here. Just give you a little update. If you notice the 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 my distance learning beard is coming in nicely. Um, it uh, yeah, it, in case you can't tell, it's it's a bit darker than it was. Um, the kids said I started looking like my kids started saying looking like Santa Claus around here. It was pretty white, and so I surprised them with a little uh, beard dye. That's right. I used a little uh, um, touch of gray, just uh, just just on the beard, touch of gray, medium brown, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's unbelievable. So we're gonna roll with that for a little bit. But uh, big goal today is we're gonna find something called the determinant of a matrix. So. Um, well, actually, just to kind of set this up for a second, I just want to show you guys something. If we take a look right here, so here's an equation, AX equals B. Now, if all of these variables are matrices, or ma they're each a matrix, this problem here, we haven't been able to solve. Yesterday's material, we, we only looked at scalars in front of matrix. Here, this is a matrix times a matrix equals another matrix. We don't have, we can't divide both sides by A, to solve this. We don't have division of matrices in our tool book. So we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna, we're gonna set the scale or set the uh, um, parameters to how we go about getting rid of this. And it has to do with something like this. It's called the inverse. In order to find this inverse though, we have to have the determinant. So the determinant is a determining factor, I guess you could say, in finding, uh, uh, the inverse of a matrix. So, first of all, just some terminology here. So, every square matrix has an order n by n and associated value. It's called a. Oh boy, give me a second here. Getting crazy. It is called. Uh, I don't like what's going on right here. All right, here we go. Nope. Yep. Nope. Jeez. There we go. All right. This is called the determinant. And um, it's, it's used by these brackets like this, these straight vertical brackets. Here's how you find the determinant. It's it's a fairly straightforward method. You basically crisscross here. So you take the product of these diagonals, one times four and two times three. In this case, it doesn't matter the order. Three times two is the same as two times three. So you take the product of the diagonals and then you subtract them. Make sure you subtract them in this order right here. The product of this first diagonal minus the product of the next diagonal. And this number right here is the determinant. And really, that's it, you guys. That's what we're that's what we're finding today. We're just trying to find that number, and that's going to be an important number for us. Um, you guys, I apologize here. My uh, uh, there's some stuff in the way here, so I'm just going to change this a little bit like this. All right, so let's take a peek here. Find the determinant of this matrix. The determinant of this matrix, basically, to find that determinant. I'm going to take the product of negative 6, negative 4, and then I'm going to subtract the other diagonal, 1 and 2. All right, 6 times 4, since they're both negative, it's positive 24, minus 2. Voila, the determinant is 22. It's really going to be that straightforward today. I'm just finding the determinant. i got a couple more examples I want to show you. Determinant of B here, letter B, 2 times negative 4 minus negative 2 times positive 4. So just be careful with our negative signs here. 
This is a double negative. This determinant is zero. Got it? Now, this is a, a number here we want to we want to think about here. When the determinant is zero, something special happens. We may or may not have something called an inverse. We'll talk about that more in the next lesson. But just keep that in mind. Let's try one more here. Letter C, the determinant. 1 times 1 minus 0 times 0. This is 1 minus 0, which is 1. Now, this is another special determinant number. These two are special determinant numbers. They tell us a couple different things. Um, this one down here tells us about this matrix, matrix C that you see. Ha, matrix C that you see right here. It's this, this matrix right here. When we have this matrix, this matrix is called the identity matrix. It's an important matrix for us. Um, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. And uh, when we have this matrix up here, this matrix giving us a determinant of zero um, also has something special. So we will uh, talk about those tomorrow. Big idea today is you can find the determinant. Remember, it's the product of this diagonal minus the product of this diagonal. That's it. Till next time, friends, stay clean, wash your hands, disinfect your phones, and most importantly, be kind.